Hey, welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'll walk you through drawing an arm step by step. I uh, first start with establishing the length. So those uh, circles with lines connecting are basically a primitive version of a skeleton just to get you know the overall uh, proportion of the arm. And then I put in that angle from the forearm to remember that the forearm doesn't attach in a stacked way. Same thing with the deltoid. It attaches over and down. So I draw those bits of angles to that shape, not just a big circle. Uh, here I start to lay in the anatomy with basic shapes and angles. For me, typically when I use angles, it's a little bit more of a design way of thinking, and that allows me to uh, connect things and, and establish almost like a sense of perspective in the anatomy, uh, but really just directions. You know? So angles are always easier to imply directions. And then after that, I start to soft erase and redraw through it. I try to think a little bit more organically about the anatomy. I still have a lot of segmentation here. I'm also thinking about basic shape memorization. So the bicep may resemble a football to you. The tricep may resemble a oblong diamond shape. The deltoid may resemble uh, a heart-like shape. And, and so whatever it is that resonates with you with these different parts and groups, muscle groups, that's really what you want to go for. It's not, um, you know, my way and the right way, wrong way, none of that. It's just, what do you see when you look at them? I think that's the best way to commit them to memory. Then as I draw through it again, I'm trying to think even more organically about the lines, trying to connect the muscle groups with uh, what's called rope drawing and thinking about connection points, insertion points of the muscles, things like that, but also softening up the forms by using more line breaks, more line weight on the shadow side and that's generally going to give you a more natural look now obviously this is very stylized so it doesn't look quite natural at all but at the same time uh, i do try to think about things like that so where before i was tracing the muscle groups more uh more defined uh, i really want to play around with a balance of areas where i define the muscle uh you know muscle definition and areas where i soften it up if not it just it almost loses its uh impact in those areas where you do want it to look defined because it's just too defined everywhere it's just like an anatomy illustration versus a real character with skin and stuff like that so in this next part i'm going to start to imply more shadows uh, so with shapes of shadows i generally go for more angular versions keep in mind that everything you see here is again stylistic anatomy you're going to play around with all sorts of variables but the main thing that I'm trying to show you is that, you know, the main kind of steps that I take are establishing the lengths, dropping in shapes of, of anatomy, basic shapes, uh, and then softening up those forms, connecting them with uh, stylistic lines, and then adding shapes of shadows. Again, even those shapes of shadows are very stylistic. The reason I like to do that for comic art is in a sense, it's doing two things, uh, I think, maybe more, but I can think of two right off the top of my head. It's simplifying the work and it's creating a sense of style. So that maybe you look at my work and go, oh, that's you know the way Rob Marzullo does or whatever. Uh, I may, and you might even look at it and go, wow, you could tell he got some tips from uh, people like David Finch or Jim Lee or Todd McFarlane, all the people I look up to in art. So basically, that's why I do things like that. If I try to draw arms the way they actually look, it looks very different than what I'm showing you here. Um, but again, I predominantly I'm trying to improve my, my ability with anatomy and my illustrative capabilities to draw comics. So that's what I'm sharing here. And again, these are the main uh, steps that I would take and hopefully you find it to be uh, informative and beneficial. Uh, by the way, I'm working on uh, some new how to draw content in book form. It'll be a PDF, digital download. I'll uh, release more of that as it uh, comes together. And thanks so much for watching the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And more on the way soon.